In our consumer alert, children's clothing sets from Bentex are being recalled because of dangerously high levels of lead in the textile ink. Now the sets all feature Disney characters and they were sold at stores like TJ Maxx, Bloomington and Amazon.com among other stores. They were sold nationwide and online. The items were sold from November 2021 through August 2022. They cost about five or 25 bucks. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says consumers should immediately take that affected clothing away from their children and contact Bentex for a refund and instructions on how to return or simply dispose of that clothing. Lead is toxic for young children to ingest and can cause serious health problems. Well, listen to this. A Major League Baseball Hall of Famer known for his spitball pitches has passed away at the age of 84, but he sure left his mark. We're talking about Gaylord Perry. He was best known for being a master of the spitball pitching technique, which then became illegal in Major League Baseball in 1968. He just must have been too good. Apparently, <laughs> he was a professional baseball player for 21 years. That's quite a career, most notably for the San Francisco Giants back when they were in San Francisco. Perry was was a two-time CY Young Award winner. The diplomatic tradition of the state dinner has returned to Washington, D.C. The president and the first lady welcomed French President Emmanuel Macron and his wife to the White House for an opulent affair last night. This event marks the first state dinner since 2019, largely because of the COVID-19 pandemic, which of course put a damper on large gatherings. On the menu for the red, white, and blue themed dinner, they had Maine lobster, American cheeses, and orange chiffon cake with roasted pears and creme fraiche ice cream. Mm, sounds pretty good to I'm me. Hungry. Yeah. <laughs> and check this out. This is the cutest video you'll see today. An eight-year-old boy dressed up as a member of the King's Guard and got the chance to meet the Prince and Princess of Wales in Boston, Massachusetts. You see him right there, the little cutie. Yeah, how cute. Shaking hands with the uh, Prince and Princess there. <laughs> Love it. Even has some roses. After waiting for hours in a beef eater costume, that's what they're called, Henry Texiera chatted with the royal couple, gave them the flowers, and then sent them off with a salute. Henry says William and Catherine complimented his outfit and thanked him for the flowers as well. Hold on, stay here for the salute. It's coming. All oh, right. He's, <laughs> He's so cute. All I love right. his little cap. He's it's just chatting with them. It's bigger than him. And then, there it oh! is. <laughs> Appropriate. Okay, we can move on now. Yeah. I wanted everyone to witness that part too. Cute. <laughs> Another great thing going on, Concordia students are warming up for their big Christmas concert. Nearly 300 students will perform in the Star of Bethlehem, Lead Us to Peace. You'll have several opportunities to catch that performance at home starting today. I'll be there tonight. It's also happening through the weekend. Hmm. The concert will also be performed at Orchestra Hall in Minneapolis. That's taking place on December 8th. You can find tickets to that online. Let's see how people are responding now to that question of the morning on Facebook. Our question today is these retailers do nearly one fifth of their annual business in the month of December. And here are some of your answers. Bobby says the butcher shop. Ricky says sporting goods stores and Kathleen coming in hot. She says the liquor store. Mm -hmm. All of which could be true. We yeah. don't know. To join in on that conversation, head on over to our Valley News Live Facebook page. Our question of the morning post is available Monday through Friday. We've got the correct answer coming up in the next half hour. New at 6.30, a shooter takes out his target while the victim is giving a child a haircut. Also ahead this morning, local breaking news on the Valley today. We're live in Moorhead where crime scene tape is surrounding a home and an incident command unit is in front of the house. We have the latest. Plus, it's a first alert weather day out there. Lisa Green letting us know what you need to know before you head out today.